Hey guys, this is Etienne Rain. Today I want to talk to you about how to play the harmonica. Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Okay, so the first thing you need to know is how to hold the harmonica. And if you hold the harmonica like this, you're not going to have as much control. You want to take your index finger and your thumb and stick it as far in as you can and wrap it around as airtight as possible. This hand is going to make you know, close up all the gaps and then this hand will go like this. Now the idea is you have as much of an airtight pocket as you can, which allows you to make that wah-wah sound when you feather your hand on and off. And I'll show you what I mean. It really makes a difference when you're playing songs around the campfire, such as uh, You Are My Sunshine. I'll play You Are My Sunshine without, and then I'll play you with. You can see the difference. Let's hear it with. Another example is if uh, if you're in prison and you really want that blues sound when a new inmate's coming in. You really want them to, to sense the desperation of the situation that they're in. If you're not going to be in the, either of those situations, it might not be as imperative. Second thing you need to know is how it fits into your mouth. Now, when you're just starting out, you might just try to make your lips kind of like when you're whistling. And it's a real small, tiny little area there. But you actually want your lips to come out and come around the harmonica like this. Not so much that you're gripping it, but you want it to uh, uh, surround the harmonica a little bit. I'll show you what I mean. You still only want to play one note at a time for when you're doing those solos. Uh, but your, your mouth actually comes around the harmonica. The other times when you're playing a chord, three notes, um, all you do is you just widen that area. So you're doing this, and it goes to like that. See what I mean? Next, we're going to bend notes. Now, when you bend a note, it actually is going to put you into a different key. For example, if I'm playing a C harmonica straight, where it's just blowing in and blowing out, no bent notes, then I'm going to be in C. Now, if I start bending notes, it puts me into the key of G. So if someone else is playing uh, guitar, they're going to be in G while I'm in C. One thing to remember is that you are going to be drawing in when you bend notes. Now, it is possible to bend the notes when you're exhaling, but that's usually at the very high end of the scale. We usually stay in the lower two-thirds. For the most part, when you're learning to bend notes, you're going to be drawing in a breath. Now, if this is your mouth around the harmonica, what is going to happen is your tongue is sitting there. When it's time to bend the note, it slides back and kind of arches at the very back of your mouth. And I'll show you what I'm doing. I'll use my hand as an illustration for what my tongue is doing. Okay, I'll show you one more trick. Um, and that is when you're doing the three note chord. If you flick your tongue off the middle one, uh, you can get kind of an interesting sound. Uh, I usually use it for more polka sounding type of things, not like you do much polka, but... Okay, you can also use it when you're trying to make kind of a chorus sound. Um, one example is when the saints go marching in. I'll, give you, I'll show you that one. get the idea. So you do that little flicking off your, your tongue on and off the, uh, the harmonica and it kind of brings out a little bit of different kind of sound. What else is there? If you haven't bought a harmonica, I'll tell you the two suggestions that I have. Now the one I use, and maybe you've seen it already, is the Lee Oscar. This is a $40 harmonica that uh, has replaceable reeds. Um, so it's basically a lifetime thing. I think reeds are like 25 bucks maybe. I don't know. It's been a while. Um, but they are really easy to play, really easy to bend notes. What I learned on, though, is uh, basically the Sousa band. Um, it's made by Honer. I think it's the same as the blues band harmonica. And these are like 5 to $8. Uh, 
and at the beginning you're probably not going to tell much of a difference uh, the, the one of the differences you may be able to blow out a reed a little easier maybe I don't know if that's even true These are good harmonicas, so this is what I don't like, and that is this kind that has this metal bar here. So if you can see it, let's see if we can make this thing. So see how this has a little protruding piece of metal there? Come on, come into focus. See it? You play that for several hours, you're gonna the inside of your lips you're gonna get raw. I played at a music um, a music store once. We were playing. I don't know. It was played till three in the morning or something. My lips were almost bleeding by the time I left because I played on one of these marine band type. So don't get that. This is a better situation because it's plastic all the way around. Pretty good setup. If you need something to carry your harmonicas in, this case will hold them all. And just when you think. You've got enough harmonicas. You put 20 more under there. You got all kinds of room. Eventually, you're going to start playing live and you want people to be able to hear you. So, you use what is what we call the Green Bullet. It's a Sure Model 520DX dynamic microphone with high impedance, made in Mexico. The volume adjust is right there. You hold the harmonica basically the same way between your index finger and your thumb. You just use your other fingers to hold on to that. Still be able to use a little bit of a wah wah. It doesn't come up as much, but uh, it's a pretty cool setup. I've got this hooked up to a little Dan Electro Nifty 50. These are great. Nifty 50. I'm not even sure if you can still buy these anymore. Everywhere I go, people love my harmonica amp because it sounds like a tube amp, but it's really just a little 8 inch, you know, speaker. I, I'm not really, I can't really speak. Speaker? Speaker? Harmonica Amp. Cool stuff. I'll put the link in the description down below, so check it out and tell me what you think. Thanks for watching. This video is dedicated to Frank. He's the one who wanted to know how to play a harmonica. I'll see you on Monday, Frank, and maybe we can talk about this and get it worked out for you. Anybody else who watches this, let me know if you learn to play the harmonica. If you're better than me, that's cool. Teach me something. I'd love it. Keep watching. I'll try to post a few more videos about different things. I'm working on building a welder out of a microwave. Hopefully that'll be next. Thanks, guys.